forward to hearing from you later, Luke. Thanks very much. Next, they are the London couple living the dream. When Peter Watson and Kia Abdullah from Hackley and Leighton got so tired of their teaching and publishing jobs, they decided to make their travelling dreams a reality. They took the leap, leap and quit and now spend their time travelling the world, island hopping and having an amazing time. And how could they possibly fund this, you might ask? Why, well, their blog, writing and taking photos of their trips is so successful, they used the money to make it a reality. And then Peter and Kia join me now. Well, I think the first thing I need to say is, um, well, gel. I believe that would be the, the best terminology to describe how I'm feeling about this right now. I mean, Peter, uh, how did you on earth decide to, to quit the day job? and actually go ahead and, and just live the dream? Um, I mean, I think uh, we've been travelling quite a bit for a long time anyway, and whenever we had the opportunity, um, whenever we had time off work, we'd, we'd go and travel as much as possible. Um, so we knew it was something we always wanted to do, and we always uh, we always loved it. Um, but I think it was about mid-2013 where we said, actually, let's if we don't do it now, we're both approaching 30, and we said if we don't do it now, then we won't ever take the leap and do it full, ter full time. So, uh, yeah, we decided to... And we said, okay, a year from now we'll take, we quit our jobs um, and be off. And so, yeah, that was it. Really. And this isn't, you've, you've travelled South Asia, island hopping there, you've gone yeah. to Australia, and this isn't the, the popular travel destinations. These are destinations off the beaten track that some people will never live to see. No, I think, um, I mean, the Pacific was just a dream for us to go to. Separately, we had travelled before through um, Southeast Asia, as you say, but we, we thought you know, where can we go that we won't ever have a chance to go again? You know, you don't take two weeks in Samoa, you don't take a week in Tonga, you don't take a week in the Cook Islands. So we said, let's save um, and let's do, you know, let, let's do a trip across the South Pacific before we hit South America, which is a little bit well-travelled. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, it was it was incredible. And we've got some pictures from your, uh, from your trips. I mean, swimming with sharks, what on earth was that like? <laughs> you guys got? <laughs> it's not as scary as you think. They're pretty placid things. Yeah, these of course ones they are. are. <laughs> Sharks do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was, and, uh, it was an incredible, uh, it was an incredible experience. Uh, this is in the Galapagos Islands. Um, yeah, I mean, these are, when we left, uh, the Galapagos Islands were sort of the thing of, things of dreams, you know. We never really actually imagined uh, getting there when we were younger, but... Um, yeah, we made it out there, and it was uh, it was a great experience. But yeah, that's not as scary as it looks. It's not as scary as it looks. Okay, well maybe that might not be scary. But let's take a look at the other pictures they sent us from the, from their trips. This is most people like to see volcanoes. It's great, dormant <laughs> volcanoes, nice. No, no, you have to stand right on top of an active volcano, and just say, here you are, um, Peter and Kia. I mean, what was that like? I mean, that was one of the most incredible experiences of our lives. Um, uh, as I said, we wanted to get off the beaten track, and Vanuatu, uh, this was Tanner Island, where um, this uh, incredible volcano called Mount Yasa was. And, uh, I mean, we stayed at this tiny little lodge um, with, with a guy who sort of drove two hours out to this uh, volcano. We trekked up in... Um, we actually went twice, because the first time, uh, it was just so incredible, we had to go again. And the second time, we sort of arranged with him that we could stay a bit later, so we were the only two people there as it was, um, as darkness fell, and uh, yeah, it was incredible. And you can't, you can't hear, obviously, because we've just shown those pictures while you're talking, but the, uh, the volcano actually explodes yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Peter, I thought, you know, who turned to you and said, Kia, you know, you're right. You are like, did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Life of a blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, okay, let's, let's talk about your blog. So was that the plan? Did you want to do the blog and hoping to make money and use it to fund the trip, or did it just happen? I think it was a distant dream. I mean, we, I've got a publishing background. You know, Peter sells his photography online, so it sort of made sense. Let's uh, get together and, and, and do a blog to sort of chart our journey. Um, we hoped that it would make a little bit of money on the road. Mainly it was about being employable when we got back, that we weren't just lazing on the beach for a year. Um, but, yeah, I mean, through several different uh, revenue streams, we started to make a little bit of money. And, um, I mean, it doesn't quite fund our travel full-time but most of it and uh, the dream is to one day just be self-sustaining and uh, oh. get away from the base guys. I guys. think Kia you're living the dream pretty <laughs> much but Kia and Peter thank you so much thank for coming you. in showing your amazing travels thank you for and good luck with everything I know you're going back out again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with all of that. Thank you. Oh, oh, gosh yeah I love my job though but swimming with sharks yes that'll be amazing. <laughs> all right so it's come we've got the headlines travel and weather.